Hello everyone, this is Debs and this is your New Moon in Libra Collective reading. I hope everyone is well. It's amazing to be with you. Now in meditation, I saw two people texting other people. I feel this is a couple that might have been living together for a long time or married. The first vision I saw was of a woman in a kitchen quietly texting someone and what she was saying was I'm so sorry but he's going to be around this weekend I can't see you. I then saw a guy in his office it was he was on his lunch break and he was also texting someone to say I'm so sorry I can't make it um, I, I will have to ring you another time let's meet up another time. Both of these people individually felt a massive sense of relief after they sent the messages. It's as if, oh good, I don't have to worry about that. So collective, what I think we have here is a couple who may have been together for a long time. Both of them may have been quietly messaging other people, dating other people. This could be as simple as flirtatious messages, although one person here might be in a full-blown affair. I feel as if both of these people are realizing they're getting in a little bit too deep. It's getting a bit serious now. It's getting a bit serious. And both of them, I feel, are emotionally pulling back to make a decision as to whether or not they can patch up a long-term commitment. Both of them. Yeah. So we will see what comes through. But this new moon in Libra occurring on October the 14th, 2023 at 1.55pm EDT will be at 21 degrees and 8 minutes of Libra. Now it's going to be a powerful time as it's a solar eclipse, challenging us to renew our relationships, platonic, romantic, as this eclipse occurs on the Aries-Libra axes, highlighting the desire for independence and balance within our partnerships. Some will survive, some will end. But the Mars-Saturn trine will help us to keep our feet on the ground whatever changes we face. So Collective, if you're ready, let's start this reading and see what comes through. Here we go. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot de la Nuit, the Tarot of Night. If you find this resonates with you, you can book a private reading with me. Everything is in the description box below. All right, Collective, let's start. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the New Moon in Libra Collective reading. 14th of October, what do we have for the Collective? Thank you, Michael. Okay, I'm seeing a guy um, putting on his jacket, snapping shut a briefcase. He's going down in a lift and he's seeing on his phone all of these messages coming in possibly from another woman and he's saying to himself I think I've got to end this I, I just think I just think it's getting too much I've got to end this he's feeling really guilty wow look at that ace of wands flew straight out of the deck he could have had a one night stand with someone it might have turned into a full-blown affair and I feel this woman is getting I've got to say it, guys, I'm sorry, a bit too much. She could be a bit obsessed with him. She could be giving him ultimatums, right? It's me or your partner. Um, I think she's really worried that it's about to end and, he, and she can't face it. He's realising that he's feeling cornered and he may be feeling a little bit claustrophobic. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Ace of Wands. All right. Oh, that one really wants to be seen. Okay. So let's have a look. Ace of Wands. So this is normally a one night stand. So he could have met someone. Um, it could be that it started off with flirtation and then they met a few times after that and now they're in a full-blown fling. Mm. Yeah, interesting Seven of Cups. I think that he had been feeling very confused as to what to do about his partnership. 
that he might have been in for a very long time, or he may have been quietly dipping into other options and he met this woman. But he's beginning to feel he's sort of got a tiger by the tail. He doesn't quite know how to end it with her because he may feel that she's expecting him to leave his partner. What he is realising is he doesn't want to do it. It was never meant to go that far. So this is going to be a challenge. Okay, guys. Page of Swords. All right. So we've got two people who are thinking of communicating with their lovers individually that this relationship is done that these third party situations are over. They're both thinking about it, whether or not it's a husband and wife or two people who've been living together for a long time. Both of these people are realizing it's getting way too serious. It's getting way too heavy. Both are feeling too guilty. They can't carry this on. But neither of them know that the other person is cheating. But these two have been very cold with each other for quite a long time. Yeah, three of cups. And so both of them have undertaken third party situations. But I'm hearing it's about to get really real. It's about to get really real. So we've got someone here who is wanting to be open and honest with their partner, maybe to admit that they have been messaging someone else, seeing someone else and to apologise in order to try and get this relationship back on track. Both, let's say, husband and wife feel too guilty. This was supposed to be both of them having quiet flings on the side because the relationship wasn't working out. But I feel that now what they're realising is this is getting really serious, okay? Yeah, another three. In the past, three of wands... Someone could have met another person at a distance and started messaging that person. It might have turned into a full-blown fling. Six of Pentacles. I feel that the third party possibly was putting pressure on maybe the masculine to move into... A divorce situation. The third party wanted an equal give and take connection but I feel potentially the masculine pulled back because he felt he wasn't ready to go down that route. He, he just wasn't ready. This was supposed to be for, I feel at least the masculine, a fun flirtation to take his mind off the fact that he was unhappy in his long-term relationship. King of Pentacles. So I believe here that this is the energy of a masculine. So I could be connecting primarily with a masculine who is thinking that he has to end this third party situation. It's just got too much. This is someone who's thinking about his financial stability. This is someone who's beginning to feel pressurised by a third party to end his long-term relationship, to offer this third party commitment. He is thinking he has to pull back, he has to detach, he has to apologise to this woman to say, I'm so sorry, it wasn't meant to go this far. I feel he's also deciding to take control of the situation and to have a very honest conversation with his partner to say, we've both felt disconnected from each other. Um, I don't know about you, but I have looked elsewhere. Um, but I don't want to do that anymore. I think we should try and concentrate on rebuilding this connection. And I think his partner is feeling the same. So we have a couple pulling away from a fair situations with other people to try and make this work. That's what I feel we have. Yeah, justice. So what the masculine is thinking about is I am in a very serious relationship. I have a legal contract, right? So the masculine could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or a Libra. But what he's thinking about is 
I'm in a serious relationship. What have I been doing messing around with another woman? I could end up losing my partner over this. Now, I don't know whether or not the third party is causing issues behind the scenes. She could be looking up this other woman online, thinking about messaging her. Do you know your husband's having an affair with me? That sort of thing. She's becoming a bit obsessed with him and he is getting very nervous that his partner is going to find out. What he doesn't know is that his female partner is having her own fling. He doesn't know that. So it may all come out, we'll see. What this masculine is fearing with the energy of the moon is that maybe a Cancerian is going to find out what's been going on. But he's also afraid with the moon of this third party becoming more and more obsessed with him and causing problems in his long-term relationship. He's very, very worried. He's been hiding this flirtation for quite a long time. He's nervous the secret's going to come out. Yeah. In the environment is the Eight of Swords. Now, I think this is his karmic partner. She's in her head. She may have wondered whether or not her masculine, her partner, was stepping out on her. But she's been in her head wondering whether or not she had the courage to bring a third party situation that she's been indulging in to a close herself. So the masculine is thinking, oh my goodness, I'm in a very serious legal contract, maybe a marriage. What am I doing? And his partner is thinking I should end this because it's getting a little bit too much. It's getting a little bit too much. So both are thinking the same, but neither of them know at this point that the other has been cheating. What this masculine is hoping with the Five of Pentacles is that he can come out of feeling left out in the cold. He's also hoping that this third party will accept that this is over gracefully, move on and won't release the secret to his partner that she's been having an affair with him because he could lose his financial stability. Basically, he's thinking if my wife finds out she could call divorce and it's just getting a bit too real, it's getting a little bit too serious, I've just got to detach. But he's hoping that this third party will accept this and release him. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I think that is the third party energy. This is a woman who feels taken advantage of. This is a woman who wants to know the truth. Has this guy spoken to his wife about divorce? Is he going to leave her? When is he going to leave her? How long is she going to have to wait for him to offer her commitment? What she doesn't know is coming is he is going to totally detach. And it's going to be very difficult. Now, the Queen of Swords stands up for herself. She speaks her truth. And this can be a woman who is angry. So I don't know whether or not this third party that this masculine has been involved with is going to cause this partnership problems. We will see. Now, clarification for the masculine. Four of Wands. Okay, now that is potentially him thinking about a new partnership. So he may be thinking, wow, I've given the third party, the woman I was having a fling with, an indication that this might get serious. I don't know what to do now. Yeah, two of swords. He doesn't want this. He's realised that they're moving into sort of dangerous waters. She's getting more obsessed about him leaving his partner, leaving maybe his wife, and he may be nervous she's going to cause problems for him if he continues this connection. She's going to get angry. She's going to want to seek revenge. She could be wanting to communicate with his partner. So he's nervous. He is wanting to pull back as quickly as possible without causing her so much heartbreak that she would want to do something to damage his partnership. He's worried about this. Now, his partner is sat in the Eight of Swords. She's also deciding to put a close to a third-party situation. 
Page of Cups, yeah. So she is apologizing potentially or wanting to apologize to a guy she has been seeing to say, I'm so sorry, um, I have actually decided to stay with my other half. I can't do this with you anymore. I'm so sorry, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, she's apologizing, Three of Pentacles. I think she was quite interested in seeing when, where this third party was going to go. Could this be a masculine that I would want to build a commitment with should I leave my husband in the future? But what she's realising is she doesn't have the courage to do it. And she's getting worried that if she does this, this third party masculine is not going to commit to her. So what she's worried about is she may simply find herself a divorced woman, right? on her own with no partner, with no partner. And she doesn't want to find herself in that situation. So this is a woman who is, I think, also wanting to patch up this long-term relationship. I believe the love is still there, but I don't believe these two are in love anymore. But as you guys know, if you spend 10 years with someone, it moves into a deeper love. You know, you're not going to be sitting in the honeymoon period for the rest of your life. It doesn't work that way. It moves into a deeper love, which is based on companionship, respect, building a life, a lot of memories, maybe children. That's the way it works. But for many people these days, they assume they're going to be married and sit in the honeymoon period for the rest of their lives. These two people understand that they may never get back that flush of first love again when they first met, but they're both realising that there's been too much history between the two of them to walk away from this partnership. So collective, underneath the deck, we have the two of wands. So I think this masculine has been trying to make a decision to end a situation with a third party. Because with the energy of the sun, I think he's been looking at all the effort he put into a long-term relationship. We've got Leo energy there. He's been looking into his future. What does he want for his future? What he's realised is, with a Knight of Cups, I think he's realised, Hierophant, these two could be married. This is Taurian energy. He's realised he still loves his wife. Yes, they may not be in love anymore, but the love is still there. The love is still there. So collective, let's jump in and find out what's going to be happening. So Archangel Michael, where do we start, please, for the collective? This masculine is thinking about the connection with this woman, the third party, He's been seeing her, dating her quietly, secretively for quite a long time. I believe that he's getting nervous because she's putting pressure on him to leave his wife. So with the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups, he is simply going to say to her, look, I'm sorry, this was supposed to be a light-hearted fling situation. I might have given you the wrong impression and for that I apologise, but we have to end it. Yeah, Tower. He knows he's just about to bring the tower down on this third party situation. He knows it. He knows it. Temperance. He's been trying to keep his cool. He's been trying to do everything he can to placate this third party, to maybe gently push her back, to refrain from seeing her, maybe, but she's hanging on to him. She doesn't want this to end. Sagittarian energy. Who is this masculine? Who is this masculine? Yeah, the emperor. Okay. Possibly Aries energy, or this is someone who is married. He knows he's been coasting in his marriage because he's been thinking about this third party. What he's realising now is that it's all got a little bit too much. It's got a little bit too heavy. He, he, he just can't do this anymore. The devil, okay. He may feel that the third party has become a bit obsessed with him. That's Capricorn energy. And this whole situation has become toxic. 
the strength card. He's been trying to hold back from the third party, but she's been hanging on to him. Leo energy. Yeah, this has been really difficult. Ten of Cups. He's been holding back because he's in a long-term relationship. He wanted time to think about what he wanted for his future. What he's realised is, I don't want to leave my partner. I don't want to leave my partner. Hangman, Pisces energy. He's been seeing their long-term partnership in a very different light. He may have been looking back and realising the effort that this partner put into the marriage, the time that they spent together, the memories that they shared. And what he's realising is he does not want to leave her for this third party. He doesn't want to leave his wife. He doesn't want to do it. So guys, going back in the past with the Three of Wands, this emperor met this third party. Could have met them at a distance, the fool, and he went for it. He went for it. He may have been impulsive, been a bit rash, thought my wife's never going to know. He took a risk and developed a connection with this woman, Six of Swords. This was at a distance. I think there might have been problems in the marriage, in the partnership, and he wanted to move to calmer waters, have a light-hearted connection to relieve the burden of maybe a relationship that wasn't working out. And he met this third party. He met this other woman. Yeah, and he sat in the energy of the Knight of Wands. So he developed an affair situation with this other woman, but it all got a little bit out of hand is what I'm getting. Six of Cups, because she wanted him to leave his long-term partner. She wanted him to walk away from his wife to be with her. So this third party either knew this masculine was married and she stayed in the connection hoping he would leave his wife, or... This emperor lied to the third party and once the third party found out that he was married, she began to put pressure on him to detach, to be with her. So this was very difficult all round. Now with the six of pentacles, for a time, this masculine managed both relationships with his wife and the lover. He managed both. Yeah, he sat in the energy of the King of Wands. He was enjoying both for a period of time. He was enjoying both for a period of time. Yeah. Six of Wands. Because he enjoyed the attention from his lover. Six of Wands. He enjoyed the attention. Mm. And with the energy of the World card, this could have been an affair that he enjoyed at a distance from his home. So he sort of got away with it. He sort of got away with it. But I think the third party was putting pressure on him to leave his wife. Nine of Pentacles. He was actually having a fling with a pre-empress. Someone very attractive, someone financially stable, someone independent. She was a catch. And I feel that in the immediate past, he was sitting on the fence as to whether or not he wanted to leave to be with her. But she moved into the energy of becoming a bit obsessed, wanting to hang on to him. And I think he got nervous and thought to himself, I've got to pull back. Because with the King of Pentacles, he was, first of all, looking at the stability of his long-term relationship I would lose a lot of money if my wife found out about this affair, if she called divorce. And I also feel that he saw another side in the nicest sense to this third party. Maybe she became too clingy. Maybe he began to feel a bit claustrophobic. Maybe she put him under pressure and he didn't know what to do about this. So what he's thinking about is his stability. The King of Pentacles, I think he's making a decision to end it with a third party. I think he wants to do it. Yeah. Judgment. He's making a judgment call 
to end things with a third party so that he can stay in his emperor status. Sagittarian energy. What else is on his mind? What else is on his mind? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. What he's thinking about is either he's going to lose a fortune of money if he leaves his wife, or with the energy of the Wheel of Fortune, he's hoping to move into a brand new cycle of truth and honesty and integrity with his wife. What's he thinking about? Yeah, Four of Swords. He's realising that he's wasted a lot of time messing around with this third party. She's now causing him problems in the nicest sense because she's really angry and upset, thinking, well, this man came on to me. I assumed he wanted a relationship. Now he's beginning to pull back. I don't like this, right? She's getting angry. So he's pulled back from this third party and he's been doing a lot of thinking about his relationship, his long-term partnership. He's realising that he wants to patch up things with his wife. Yeah, Four of Cups. Oh my goodness, Four of Swords, Four of Cups. I'm hearing again, how did it get this far? How did we get to this point? Because he's now in a very tricky situation. His wife is disconnected from him. He may be nervous that she's found out that he's messing around with someone else. What he doesn't know is that she's having her own fling. So with the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, this whole thing has become messy. It's become emotionally very difficult to handle. Eight of Pentacles. He wants to put work into the relationship again with his wife. So collective, in the immediate future, we have the Justice card. Now this is him thinking about his legal contract, the vow that he made to his wife. And this is him wanting to speak to his wife, maybe to get everything out on the table, to admit the truth that he's been having an affair, but he wants to work on the marriage. His wife is selling the Eight of Swords. She's also in a situation where she may have been dating someone who wants to be with her, but she's thinking she has to apologise to the guy that she's been quietly seeing to say, I'm so sorry, I know that I said to you I wanted to develop this connection with the view that I might be leaving my husband. I'm sorry, but I don't think I want to do that. So she's thinking the same thing. So Archangel Michael, do we have timing, please, for the collective? When do we have the energy of the Justice card and the Eight of Swords coming into play? Do we have timing? Thank you, Michael. December. Okay. 10th of December to the 21st. Okay. This could be a tricky time. If the masculine has been with this third party for quite a while, I think he has, because she seems to want to be with him in a proper commitment. So they've known each other for quite a while. I think things are gonna to come to a head around about the festive season, just before Christmas. I think the third party may be wanting to see him over the Christmas period. And I believe that his wife is thinking of ending things with the guy that she's been seeing so that she and her husband can patch things up over Christmas. I think that's what they are both realising they individually want to do. So this is going to be a cards on the table, straightforward conversation that I think the masculine, the guy, the emperor is going to instigate. He's going to be talking to his wife about their marriage. I don't know what his wife is going to come out with. We will see. So let's have a look at the Emperor's energy. He's sitting in the Justice card. He wants to bring balance to the connection. He could be a Libra. His wife could be a Libra. He's thinking about his legal contract, his marriage. So what is he going to say to his wife, Michael? The Empress. Okay, beautiful. Emperor and Empress. What he's going to say to his wife is, look, because we're looking at a wife who doesn't seem very happy, right? She seems a bit bored, a bit discontent. He may be talking to his wife about the fact that they don't spend a lot of time together anymore. He may say to his wife, I don't feel as if you love me anymore. You're not attracted to me anymore. He may be 
getting to the whole point of this conversation, which is I stepped out. What is he going to say to his wife, who is coming through as the empress, emperor and empress? Yeah, ten of wands. What he's going to say to his wife is, look, ten of wands, I was very burdened. We've been married for a long time. I feel as if you lost interest in me. Maybe these two hadn't been intimate for a period of time. What he's going to say to his wife is, I was on the verge of ending our marriage. I was on the verge of ending our marriage. And with the Three of Swords, I was heartbroken, believing that we couldn't patch up our partnership. What else is he going to say to her? Seven of Swords. And so I'm, I'm so sorry, but I ended up messaging someone else that I met. It turned into a one night stand. And then we saw each other after that. It turned into an affair. I'm so sorry that I did that to you. Well, Five of Swords, I know I sabotaged our connection. Magician. But what I want to do now is try and manifest the closeness with you again. I want to patch things up. What else is he going to say to his wife? Seven of Wands. I'm sorry I was defensive. I'm sorry I pushed you away. The Chariot. I'm sorry I left to be with someone else. I want us to get back together again. I want to renew the connection with you. I want to get that love back. Wow, Cancerian energy. What is his wife going to say? Five of Cups. So what she's going to say is, I felt the disconnect between us two. I've been very unhappy for a long time as well. Mm. Seven of Pentacles. She's going to say, I've been looking at the time that we spent together. I've been looking at the past memories we shared. I felt that you were just with me because it was nice and stable. Nine of Cups. Uh, I was overindulgent as well. Wow. Nine of Swords. And she's going to say, I'm so sorry. But yeah. Um, I was seeing someone too. Wow. Okay. What is she saying to him? Ten of Pentacles. I don't want to leave you. We're in a really stable situation. We've been together for a long time. We know each other really well. Page of Pentacles. They may even have a child. But with the Page of Pentacles, she may be saying to him, I really want to patch things up too. I'm so sorry. Um, I was as much to blame. If she's got the courage to say that, to be honest, she will. Eight of Cups. I think she's going to admit to her husband that she thought about walking away from the marriage too. But I think what she's actually saying is I am walking away from the guy that I was quietly seeing on the side. I'm ending it. I'm apologising to him. I'm saying I'm so sorry. I'm patching things up with my husband. So if you are wanting to do the same with the woman that you've been seeing, then I think we should give this a shot. I think that we need to really look at mending the situation Yeah, both of these two, this couple, are going through major change and transformation. Scorpio energy. Both of them are ending third party situation to make this marriage work again. Yeah, I think things needed to get to this point for both of them to realise that the love was still there. I think they, they were both nervous that the other had lost interest. 
but this is a beautiful coming together of two people who were on a slippery slope. It was going to end. Now, the only issue we have is that I feel that the third party is still a bit obsessed with this emperor. I think she's coming through as the queen of swords. She is not going to go so easily. So collective with the queen of swords, this is a woman who expected to be offered commitment from this emperor. So she's going to have a rather unpleasant wake up call that he is not going to commit to her. Okay, so what is the Emperor going to do? What is the Emperor going to do? Eight of Wands. All right. So there's going to be a bit of a crazy messaging session here, or he could want to see her in person. What is he going to say to her? The lovers. I'm so sorry, but I've made a choice to stay with my wife to stay with my partner. What is she going to say to him? Knight of Pentacles, you gave me the impression that you were going to commit to me. She's angry. She's holding a scythe. <sighs> She's angry. Yeah, five of wands. There's going to be conflict. She doesn't want to let him go. She may feel very angry. She may feel used, taken advantage of. What is he going to say to this third party? King of Swords, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've made my decision. King of Swords has no emotion. He's going to speak to this woman and be very upfront, very honest. It may be a little bit cold as far as she's concerned. But what he's simply going to say is, I've made my decision. The time we spent together was special, but I cannot leave my wife. I cannot leave my wife. How is she feeling? All right, it's going to be tough on the third party, Ten of Swords. She's going to feel betrayed. She's going to feel that this guy wasted her time. What is she going to say to him? Oh, Two of Cups. I fell in love with you. For me, it was much more than an affair. I was planning a life with you. What is she going to say to him? Goodness me. Knight of Swords, I can't believe you're doing this to me. I can't believe it's over. What is his reaction? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. So she could be a Virgo, this guy could be a Virgo. What he's going to say is, I'm sorry, I felt very disconnected from my wife. I felt very, very alone. He could say to her, I was going through a little bit of a midlife crisis. I met you, you were wonderful, you gave me the attention I wasn't getting in my marriage. But I've been doing a lot of soul searching and what I've realised is that I want to hang on to my long-term partnership. Yes, four of pentacles. Yeah. So he's going to be open and honest with her. She's not going to like it. She's possibly going to be feeling upset and hurt. But he's being honest. He's being honest. What is he going to say to her? Page of wands. Now he may say to her, primarily I'm staying because we have children or I've got a child. Or he may be saying to her, look, it, it just started as a series of passionate messages with you. It was never actually supposed to become more than that. Yeah, I mean, this is just the truth. Ace of Swords, he's going to say, I'm sorry, but it, it really is done. It really is done. We're going to have to stop messaging each other. I need to patch up things with my partner. I will never forget you. And the time we spent together. But I really hope that you can just move on and meet someone else. That's what I feel he's going to say. All right, collective. The star, Aquarian energy. He could be an Aquarius. She could be. 
But with the star energy, he's basically going to say, I think you're wonderful, but with the energy of the star, I've patched things up with my wife. i patched things up with my partner. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Queen of Pentacles. What he's saying is, I'm sorry, um, I've reunited with my wife. What is her energy? What is she going to do? What is the third party going to do? Oh, all right. Oh, nice. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. The third party is actually going to start a new relationship with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. So, collective, if you are the third party out there, don't worry. You're going to meet a King of Cups. And this is someone who's going to genuinely love you and want to put effort into the relationship. Yeah, so if you're the third party, you're going to meet someone else. Okay, guys, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to move into a commitment. So it's a bittersweet reading. All three people involved here have been through trials and tribulations, heartbreak and pain, a lot of confusion. I feel that a lot of these problems stemmed from lack of communication, lack of compassion, lack of understanding. Maybe these two will learn that they need to be open and honest with each other. They need to keep the love alive in the partnership and to, to talk if there are problems. But I almost feel that we have a couple here who very nearly lost each other because neither of them had the courage to admit that they were unhappy in the partnership. It had to come to a point where they were both considering divorce for them to realise how much they would lose. And I think for this couple, it was not about the stability of the connection. It was about losing each other. That's what they've realised. They didn't want to lose each other. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope it's helped you, as always. Sending love and light your way. And enjoy this new moon in Libra. Take care now. Bye then.